Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more great content every week. Don't forget to leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. President Haka Inde Ichlema had an interview recently with BBC. Now Sean Tembo ain't happy with it. Pep President Sean Tembo watched the full interview and after watching it, he didn't waste no time. He went online and posted on his Facebook page saying, When you are president of a country, it's the same as when you are a CEO of a company. Your job is to paint a good picture about the country that you are leading in the eyes of your own people and the international community. That is because you need to build confidence. When you build confidence, local investors will bring back the money that they had stashed away and invested locally because you as the president has painted a Ross picture about the country's future outlook. Similarly, foreign investors will make the country to be their number one investment destination because the future outlook is bright. That is why I was shocked when I watched President Haga Inde Itlema's interview yesterday with the BBC's Rukwesa Barak. The president painted Zambia's future economic outlook in the eyes of the world as black, not grey or brown, but black. He did this in two ways. Firstly, by saying that Zambia's debt burden is bigger than the PF government had disclosed. In other words, that there was hidden debt, but without revealing how much that hidden debt holds. The journalist asked him, how much is the hidden debt that we are talking about here? The president said that his government is yet to determine. So why go to the media to alarm the world? if you have not yet determined the exact amount of the so-called hidden debt. How do you even know that the debt is hidden before you confirm it with the actual creditors? In auditing, we don't take any debt on face value until such a time that you meet the creditors and they confirm the details of the debt and they have provided its amortization schedule to debt. So far, President Hitler's government has not convened any creditors meeting that we know about. His alarmist statements are based on the small bits of exaggerated information that his sources are giving him in the system in a desperate quest to save their jobs under the new government. The total effect of the president making such a wild statement about hidden debt, which is not qualified, is that he is living up to the world to speculate about the quantum of the alleged hidden debt. The world is now thinking, could the alleged hidden debt be 1 billion US dollars, maybe 5 billion US dollars, or perhaps it is 15 billion US dollars or maybe 75 billion US dollars. Well, nobody knows for sure but one thing is certain. There is no investor from anywhere in the world who will want to come and invest in Zambia. No one and for sure, immediately after the president's alarmist statement, the yields on our euro bond dropped by about 600 basis points which is a bigger fall than that which was caused by pre-election uncertainty. This means that we will now struggle to refinance our euro bonds when they fall due in 2022, 2023 and 2024. When I featured on Radio Phoenix, Let the People Talk earlier this week, I made it clear that the international community had a lot of confidence in the new adm administration as witnessed by the gain in the yield of our euro bonds the moment that Mr. Mr. Hitler was announced the winner of the general elections. I also made it clear that such investor confidence will make it easier 
for us to refinance our euro bonds once they become due in the next couple of years and that it will remain until such a time that the UPND government messes it up themselves. And it be known to me that the president was actually planning to do just that, mess up the investor confidence through unsolicited wild statements that are not backed up by any actual figures. Suffice to mention that the issue of hidden debt is not only unsubstantiated wild allegation that the president has made. During the interview, President Hitler repeated his previous baseless claims that he was inheriting an empty treasury. During my interview on Radio Phoenix on Tuesday, I debunked that claim by the president and I estimated that on the day of his inauguration on 24th August 2021, there was a approximately 3 billion US dollars in the coffers. And for sure, during their quarter media briefing this week, the Bank of Zambia indicated that our gross foreign reserves were standing at 2.9 billion US dollars, which is not too far from the 3 billion US dollars that I had estimated earlier. Suffice to mention that the 2.9 billion US dollars reserves that we have at the moment is largely due to the SDR allocation that we received of 1.3 billion US dollars. But this is the largest amount reserves that this country has had in the past 13 years or so. Even in 2011, when the PF took over, the MMD government only left about 2.4 billion US dollars. So the question then becomes, if the 2.9 billion US dollars reserves is the highest that we have had in 13 years, why is President Hitler insisting and telling the world that he has inherited empty coffers? Why unnecessarily alarm the world? That is the question which the Zambian people should be asking themselves. Why is President Hitler unnecessarily alarming the world? In my view, it is because of self-aggrandizement. President Hitchema wants to exaggerate the extent to which the economy was damaged by the PF so that he can use it to escape some of the grandiose promises that he made to Zambians before elections, such as free education from nursery school to university. And to some extent, the BBC Lukwesa Barak was able to figure that out and decided to pin him with a question of whether he will still go ahead with his promise of free education in view of the extremely bad state of the economy. To which he started making it conditional that free education will be provided to bright students only. But why is President Hitler playing politics with our economy so early in his tenure of office? Why is he putting his personal and partisan interests ahead of the national interest? Where is he going to take this country in the next five years? If politicking is more important to him than genuinely turning around the economy and improving the lives of the Zambian people. And when we stand up, condemn such selfish actions, they say it is too early to criticize. Well. It is also too early for them to start messing up our country. I am very worried about where we are going. Hashtag Sean E. Tembo, PEP President. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.